Alright, for this video you'll need your mouthpiece and just as a little refresher we're going to try to hold the mouthpiece down on the tip there with a couple fingers not grip it. We're going to try to play with nice easy air and we're going to try to make sure we're going to make sure that our ear stays in charge of everything. The first drill we do will be called a siren. It just sounds like a basic little siren going up and down. And what pitches we play in this case are absolutely not important. But what's very important is that we have a nice set embouchure and that we keep the air super smooth as we go up and down. You can pick whatever pitches you want. That's really not that important. So I'll go and then you'll have a chance to imitate it. Your turn. Last one. Okay, very good. Now feel free to go back and repeat this if you would like to. All right, now we'll try some very basic scale patterns. I'll play and then you just try to repeat what I'm doing. Very good. Go back and repeat that as many times as you'd like. Now that we're starting to get the hang of it, I think it's time we play a song. How about we do something from your book, which would, I'm guessing, be Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's got to be somewhere right around where you'll be working on right now. If not now, you probably just got done with it or you're about to get to it. So this is Mary Had a Little Lamb on the mouthpiece. I'll play, then you play. Okay, very good. Now, when we're doing these mouthpiece drills, one thing we want to check is if we're ending 
on the same pitch that we started on. And I know that if you checked um, my exercises throughout this video, I probably didn't quite do that every time. So in other words, we don't want the pitch drifting higher or lower when we play on the mouthpiece. So you can take your trumpet and, and if like Mary had a little lamb, usually it starts on an A. So if you put the trumpet, put the mouthpiece in the trumpet and play an A, and then you buzz it through on the mouthpiece, and then you put the mouthpiece back in the trumpet, and when you play the A again that you end on, hopefully it's the same pitch that you started on. Um, another thing that you might want to do on this video is buzz along while I'm buzzing. You know, just buzz right along with me if you want. Maybe you're already doing that. But go back and try these exercises again and um, feel free to buzz anything in your book. Buzz, um, if you go to church, buzz hymns or buzz tunes, any kind of tune you want to do. The idea is just to, to create some kind of concept with the ear, some kind of melody or sound, and then learn to express it through the mouthpiece, which is a little less intimidating than trying to play the trumpet. So good luck to you. I hope this buzzing, um, these buzzing exercises will help you out. Adolf Herseth was the principal trumpet of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra from 1948 to 2001, an incredibly long career at an extremely high level. Uh, during this time, uh, the Chicago Symphony recorded a, a massive amount of uh, albums, and so you can go and find recordings of Adolf Herseth playing just about anything um, that's significant that's ever been written for orchestra up to that period and and it would these recordings uh, were a lot of the ones I listened to and and a lot of the recordings that inspired me when I was in college and and, and still now um, he played incredibly fearlessly extremely strong and passionately and it was just absolutely captivating to hear what he did and fortunately I was able to see him perform live several times absolutely magnificent so I hope you'll take a second to check out some recordings of the Chicago Symphony uh, that feature Mr. Uh, Bud Herseth Bud was his nickname Adolf Bud Herseth uh, below take some time to check those out and you're going to hear probably the most famous principal trumpet player principal just means the first trumpet the the, the most famous principal trumpet player uh, in the history of orchestral trumpet playing <laughs> 